studio working on my first release uh -huh. and my, my first release is a very special special song uh -huh. to me you know and it's it's one of those you know every single year I have to make sure I try to do a positive song that's right, why right. I did this song this one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's why I did that song so every single year I want to make sure that I bless the fans and bless the people and give the father thanks and you know just push out the right energy because you know we energy people we energy beings you know yes 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 and the yes. whole world functions on energy and i think we need positive energy in the midst of in the midst of everything yes you know absolutely and we we strive for greatness mm -hmm. with positive energy right right and that's right. the only way we will find greatness. well so, you did your, your songs before we talk killer, before we before we talk, we have a lot of talking to do. We have a lot of talking to do. We have a lot of talking to do. But this is the one. Everybody from Grenada know. If you love Grenada, you love your spice and rock. You gotta know this one. You gotta you gotta touch this one. The other day me go a club out of London Who approach me the beautiful woman She said she me could I ask you a question Me say show baby please just prolong The woman turned she asked me where me come from Say me come from the one Spice Island I could have see it in as she eye She already won this island boy She hold me hand, she pull me panty the dance floor Pull me tight and she won't let me go When me try walk the woman pull me back And in my eyes she start talk and she said it She want a Spice Island rock Say well, welcome to the. She love the spice and rock. Hey, big tune. Body. She love the spice and rock. Say well, welcome to the rock. She love the spice and rock. Long time she want a island boy. She want to play with an island toy. Island time she want to enjoy. Big love under the island sky. So me take the woman back long to greens and four o'clock pull up pine pine saline. Drive up wap, then settle lean. Take the woman down to the beach for a swim and rub her down with some island cream. So she could have a nice island dream. Want to lift up the island steam. Way up in the constant spring, the rock. She on the spice side rock. Every Grenadian sing it. Well, welcome to the rock. She on the spice side rock. Yay! Go the rock. She on the spice side rock. Say hey, well, welcome to the rock. She love this spice and rock. Last but we give him one more. Have the woman open up she eyes, she turn and ask me, is this paradise? I say, baby, have you just realized? You should tell from the stars in the skies. And this is where all the fish them swim, and all of the birds them sing. Who oh, they smell the spices now the wind? Baby, welcome to the dream. She wanna go up on Mount St. Catherine. She want to learn about the Grenadian doctrine. She want a baby in Anna Del Fall. She want to go by a rocky by Paul. She want to land on the gun but the block. To have an evening island. She want a selfie song with my pokey She want to book you a scene party Say she want to go down a fish Friday Welcome to the green, this is my way I just a listen with me, I just a listen with me Say hey, me sing Oh the rock She want the spice and rock Say well, welcome to the <laughs> right, Yo, right, Mr. Right. Killer, Mr. Killer I tell all you this is a conversation, right? This is a conversation with Mr. Killer. Because a lot of people know Mr. Killer, but still a lot of people don't know Mr. Killer. That's very true. Right. So yeah. we're going to talk about things that people don't know about Mr. Killer. The 
inside, well, inside oh, first of all, what part of Grenada are you from? I was born and, and, and bred in, in Guav. Stone, right. Stone Hill, Kansan Spring, Gun Battle, Guav Town. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, in, your, in, your, in your growing up in the areas and stuff that you grew up in, what were some of the most memorable times you had in those areas? Well, really and truly growing up in the sea, you know, nearly dead in the sea a lot of times. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, we grew up swimming at the age of five, four, you know, uh -huh. we get thrown off of the jetty. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had to figure it out, you learn to swim, that's how we learn to swim. We, yeah. don't, we don't learn to swim by somebody holding your hands and teaching you how to paddle and them thing. No, you learn to swim by you getting thrown into the seawater. Yes. And, um, I mean, just growing up in Guav, there was a lot, a lot of memorable things because Guav is not, Guav is like a little island by itself, you know? Yeah. It teaches you how to be tough, mm -hmm. it teaches you how to be strong. It's like a u little university. Right, right, you know, so right. Guav is like a little university. The way that the people will treat you, the way that they handle you, the way that they make you tough on our whole, you know, mm -hmm. when we were growing up in Guav. So, I mean, but some of the most memorable things, you know, is a childhood day. You know, Playing the games that we used to play, you know, the days of marble, playing marble, mm -hmm. the, play, the days of playing ganga gang, what we used to call bobo, mm -hmm. which people call war games, you know. Right. Um, going hunting and stuff back in the day, you know. Um, swimming up, of course, I mean, you know, going out on the boats and going fishing and stuff like that. That is the things I, I, I miss, you know, life felt so pure mm -hmm. back then when you could do those things, the things of nature, the things that includes nature, you know. Right, 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 of right. Course, of course. And those type of things. So in, in all your songs, right, you start it off and you say, Mommy, yes. you're always associated back to your mother. Yeah. What role did your mother play and why we never hear Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what happened to your father? Well, you see, and and no, that my, my father. Um, I mean, I got to know my my my, my dad. You know, um, at a later age, uh -huh. you know, in life and stuff. But me and my, my dad, we good. Okay. And and you know, we've been we've been good. We was good. You know, from since that time, and it's just a different relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a different relationship. Um. My, my mother mm -hmm. now is the person that, well, females, when it comes to females, I think sometimes even females right now don't understand the role that they play. Right. Females have a very intricate job when it comes to the planet on our own. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, they explain are that, the explain mothers that. because in creation, when you talk about creation, uh -huh. the mother energy of creation is one of the most important you understand energy when it comes to creation itself right so if you do your study spirituality and you go to a level then it becomes not just oh father god you become father mother god mm -hmm. because creation in itself there is a nurturing energy and the nurturing energy of 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 creation is the mother energy right that's why the female have the job to to carry the seed mm -hmm carry the fruit and, and bear those fruits of mm -hmm. the of the earth right and they also have the job to nurture uh -huh. to to groom mm -hmm. you understand this the, the, the fruits of the earth which is the the, the the children they're responsible for me and you right you understand so even yeah. though there is not a father uh -huh. a mother will grow a child yeah. And will grow that child to be the most beautiful person is mm -hmm. the application of that mother, you know? And that's why I say mommy because I grew with my mother mm -hmm. and you know, she instilled some very, very valuable um um principles mm -hmm. in me that came to save me. Right. So at the age of sixteen I end up I leave, you know, win tickets come out here in New York and you know, I meet the wrong friends, I had an experience, you know, there was a time, I had a moment in my life uh -huh. when I came out here and, you know, thought it was a bed of roses. Mm -hmm. You I mean really, here, I mean in America, the US? In America. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. At a very young age, I come and I wanted to stay out here, I wanted to, you know, but I meet the wrong friends and I was searching for music, not realizing that what I see on the TV mm -hmm. wasn't the real life. In America, right. I came out here and then I said hello to one of my neighbors one time. A lady was living next door. You know, you walk out your door, there is a next door right here. Uh -huh. One door facing the other. And I came out, she came out the same time and I said hi to her and she watched me like if I was an alien. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that there is not, that is not the same type of love that I accustomed to. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, that life 
that 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 moment pushed me into other things where you know end up like basement apartment two bottle with my bed the wrong kind of friends then mm -hmm. the street you know that is a part of my life so that, you was you had a street you had a street rap pool where you was hanging very, out with yeah very, very bad boy on the street <laughs> doing a lot That's of bad very, things <laughs> Well, because, yeah, because you're you know? positive. I, I'm, <laughs> from the time I know you, right? You always seem as a very spiritual person. Which, well, which, which kind well, of you see now that is the moment because some of the most spiritual people, if you go back even in the Bible, you see man like David and and all of these people. They are they are those moments, you know. They uh -huh. have that moment, you know. Sometimes the father have to give you the greatest battle for you to be the greatest soldier. You don't just get the rank as a great soldier in this life, right? If you have no experience, or if you don't fight no battle. You understand? How would you, how would you own your stripes, really and truly? Right, right, you know? right. How right. do you really own your stripes if, 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 if you know, you never fight no battle? Yeah. If you never go through the real training. So at that moment, I met the wrong friend. My friend was 15 years, and he was 15 years. I was 16 at the moment, but at the age of, you know, well, I could say it now. At the age of 15, he may be responsible for about three bodies already. Wow, you understand? What I'm saying so that the kind of people you were hanging out with? Yeah, well, it wasn't just by choice because at the time I don't know. You know, I was innocent to the whole fact. You right, know? right, right, right. Uh, uh, or uh, what uh, I'm, I'm hanging around or being around or whatever it is. But anyway, that life will lead you down a road where you had one time I out here and I give myself a week to live. You know, what? I give myself a week to live and I say, well, all right, you know, uh, my mother taught, taught me some some very valuable things you know she said if you ever take your life you will never see the face of the father uh -huh. first and foremost she instilled in me the the, the fact i believe in, right in, in in god i believe in the creator right and i said i believe in the messiah i believe in the creator of the heaven and earth and who govern over i so however you want to call him or whatever it is that greater energy that greater source right the all that is all and everything that is everything you know mm -hmm. and that is one of the most valuable things that she could have ever give to me so that whole me and because of those little belief in my mind uh -huh. that that really saved me because at the time i say all right you know what if i can't kill myself then better the police the police go shoot me I wow. don't really, I, I don't really, you know, business about it no more because them times, you know, you, you're in a level of frustration, you feel like you're in something that you can't really pull yourself out of and, you know, it just was a time uh -huh. where by, you, you alone, in a world alone, where other people can't really see and understand or feel for you at the moment, mm -hmm. you know? You felt, did you feel completely lost? Yeah. Disconnected of, to of the world? Of course, of yeah. course, completely lost and, and, and. At that moment, when you're in that last, when you're in that last place, you lose value. Yeah. You lose value. But for some reason, you know, the value of my mother, because you see, I grew up respecting my mother because she's so, she's so strict, she's so tough. Yeah. You know, so even to get to do music when I was young, I used to get licks every day. Mm -hmm. My mother never wanted me to go and, and sing and go on stage or whatever it is. When the weekend come, go to church. Mm -hmm. When the weekend they come, then go to school. What's your religion? What what what's your religion? My belief? religion in, is love. My mother tell me again, never believe in religion. My mother is a Baptist. That is a faith. Right. You understand because it's where we came from. That is the closest thing to my to to where my the color of my skin reside from. Mm -hmm. Any religion, I have to sit down and study. You have to be some African religion. Mm -hmm. Because that is my descendants, that is my, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. That is where my ancestors from. We, we contain something called genetical memory. Mm -hmm. That's why a child could look as his mother or a child will look as his father because there is memory in the genes. Right. But that memory is not just, j doesn't just stop from the mother and the father. Mm -hmm. It goes way back from the grandmother, the great grandmother, the great 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 grandmother. Right. Then a son. Yeah. So what my ancestors have seen, I have seen, and, and what they have felt, I have, I have felt. Right. It's just to tap into that and unlock, mm -hmm. you understand, that dimension. So that, that, that religion is, to you is the Baptist? That, that religion that is closer to me, yes, to my heritage, is, is the Baptist faith. Mm -hmm. Or even the, the, the Rasta faith make more sense to me mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. You now, mm -hmm. some people will say, all right, that man say, who is God and who is that? There is one true and living Father mm -hmm. above all of those And who things. is it to you? Who is that? Who is that, that, that person? Is it Jai? Is it me, Allah? Is me it... and you don't even know the name. 
mm -hmm. of the Father. So you when you pray, who you pray to? Jah, Allah, Christ. I I don't Jesus. know. I don't know the name because you give me Jesus. I believe in the Christ man. Right. Right. The Christ man has lived mm -hmm. and walked the earth. If you go back in studies, they tell you his name is actually um, Jesus. Right. You understand? Right. Jesus or Emmanuel. I. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeshua Ben Ha. Right. It's another name that they call him right. back in them time. In translation, he come and they give you Jesus Christ. Right. Now, it's so corrupted in, in religion and the confusion of religion so weird to me sometimes because I spent eight years studying spirituality you know, mm -hmm. to try to clear my head. You right. understand? And when I start studying, I realize that the Christian faith tell me Jesus Christ. Right. No. The Rasta man come and tell me um, um, King Selassie. I, yes, yes. And then there's a big confusion. Mm -hmm. When you really and truly, when you sit down and you calculate it, Jesus Christ tell me, let me teach you how to pray. Mm -hmm. And when he, he, when he taught me how to pray, he said, come let's pray. Our Father mm -hmm. who art in heaven, right. hallowed be thy name. Right. So that means, him, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. within the Holy Trinity, yet there is a Father. Mm -hmm. There is a greater one. Right. You understand? That is over all. Right? When you when you study King Selassie I, the same way, mm -hmm. you understand? He said, let's pray to the Father, mm -hmm. the Almighty God himself. Right. right? So it, it's just different. So, so it's, it's different. It just I it just whole different ideology. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Right. And 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 perception towards the thing because hear that the real rasta man mm -hmm. believe in the christ man right. but he don't listen how funny and tricky this is and this is clarity to a lot of people out there the real rasta man mm -hmm. believe in the christ man you know mm -hmm. but he don't believe in jesus christ how funny that is mm, it is which is the same person right yeah but here what happened he just don't believe in the name Jesus Christ. What he because the Rasta man believed that King Selassie is the coming, is the coming again of Christ mm -hmm. in his kingly character. Mm -hmm. That is what the Bible said. The Bible spoke of him coming back again in his kingly character and mm -hmm. said only the saints shall recognize him. Right. So at the end of the day. So when I say Christ is consciousness. Well, of course, Christ in itself is consciousness, mm -hmm. but yet in itself, there was a man. Mm -hmm. That walk upon the face of the earth, that mm -hmm. touch the that taught the teaching, that mm -hmm. taught the understand what I'm saying the lessons that we're speaking of. Right. And he himself say that I dwell within thy consciousness. That is where you the only place you could find him. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is consciousness, but besides that, we're talking about there is a connection, just like just like yeah. The middle chakra, mm -hmm. where they call Hukka uh, uh, Anahata, mm -hmm. which is a middle chakra that actually joins the the, the, the the physical realm to the spiritual realm. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's just so it's much so, to it's so deep. It's so, it's so deep, right? right? But it's so deep that you, you need a whole, you know. You need, you need the, more time. But here's what I want to ask. Here's what I want to ask you. Uh, do you, you follow Mutaburuka? Motoboruka, I I think I heard him. A you heard him before? Times. You yeah. you are, you you, have, you ever studied any any of his preaching, his teaching, or his belief? No, no. Okay, Motoboruka thinks and and and, and we had Motoboruka for you, those of you guys who watched the program this last week. Motoboruka was on the program, right? And his belief, again, guys, this is not a a, a, a gospel show of any sort. We conversating here, and this is right no, now. No, you, you, you don't even have to explain that to them, Joe, because let me tell you something. Yeah. We as people, yeah. we have to learn and realize that there is different levels towards life. And yes. If we only live on a physical level and we don't involve the the, the mental and the spiritual level, that means we dumb. We don't. We don't. That's and we true. are we, uh, we dumb and we are shallow people. Right. Right. So this conversation is also necessary. It's necessary. It's not just about jump up and his music all the time and then when where is our when we when we down mm -hmm. and we have pain and mm -hmm. we stressed out and we are frustrated then we find God yeah yeah and true, us, true, as true. we have pain we say oh, oh God. God yeah 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 you understand yeah, yeah. what I'm yeah, saying yeah. yeah so this is also necessary mm -hmm. I have my prayer time every day you know no matter I never go on stage yet and don't pray yet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you understand people might say oh you go on stage and you whine and why it is let the father judge I mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying mm -hmm. but I make sure mm -hmm. that I reconcile with him right Right. So Mutabaruka, he mm. said in his in his in his ideology, in his teaching, is in on his understanding, mm. he believed that the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost and Mary and Adam and, 
and the birth of Jesus and all that stuff is just a fairy story. Right. It's a fairy tale. Right. Because especially when you when you look at things like the serpent spoke to Mary, uh, spoke to um, Eve and told her to eat the apple. He thinks the whole thing is just a fairy tale, mm -hmm. right? And he's a conscious brother. He's he's he he he, he speak about he speak about Rastafari and, and and stuff like that. So he's conscious. So you find different ideology and beliefs. That is, what that, is, that is what I'm saying. So listen to me. Just like how I think that when you tell me the serpent speak to yo, this is level. This is very deep. Mm -hmm. When we speak of the, the, the serpent, right? Yeah. There is something in the human body mm -hmm. they call the kundalini. Uh -huh. The kundalini, you know what I'm saying, resides in the base of the spine. Okay. Now, it's only a certain level of spirituality, meditation, and years of practice uh -huh. could help you rise kundalini to seventh heaven. Which is your 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 top chakra, uh -huh. right? Simply when when they talk about opening your third eye and all of those things, right? right? Right. For you to rise that, the shape of this is like this. It's like a serpent. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when they use terms like serpent, when they use a lot of different terms as the branch mm -hmm. and all of those things, right? It told you even the Bible has been written in parables. So some people might listen and they hear, all right, speaking of a serpent and a serpent speak. The serpent could also be in a consciousness of a whole rights mm -hmm. of Kundalini. So right. it's a difficult it's a difficult place, you know? Mm -hmm. Because some people will see it in some ways and some other people will see it in some ways. No, just how the Bible have been written, there was a lot of things that have been said in the Bible and, and in great books that doesn't mean it in the words that it has been spoken. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why he say it is in parable. Mm -hmm. So a man come and say, I speak of them, the rise, the branches of, of, of mankind has mm -hmm. fallen off. Mm -hmm. The leaves have withered. Mm -hmm. You understand? That doesn't mean he's speaking of a tree. He's speaking of the children. Right. Because at the end of the day, you're talking about, when you go to school, they teach you about what? Not family tree? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Does yes. he have a tree in your house? Physically, no. Physically, not. No, right. Right? He doesn't have a tree in your house, no. but they tell you about the family tree. Yeah. Because, because of the design. They use a tree mm -hmm. to actually represent the design. Yeah. Right? Because... Tia said you're speaking facts. You're right on yeah, the point. Of course. Because they use a tree to, to, to explain the design mm -hmm. of, 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 of the family. Mm -hmm. Because in everything, a tree could represent two or two. One tree mm -hmm. could represent everything in the existence. Do you know that one human being could also explain everything in the whole in the whole existence of mankind? Do you know that a human being, you understand, mm -hmm. you could find every single machine that has been created mm -hmm. by man in mm -hmm. the human being? A human being could represent it. Yeah, because so a human being made the machine, you have to have the imagination. Right. Like and not just made the machine, even parts of your body. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So a baku. Have a hand. The mm -hmm. hand work exactly just like a joint and a wrist to pick up the throw. Mm -hmm. You understand? A right. car have a body, an external body. Mm -hmm. Inside of the car, you have an engine. Mm -hmm. That is your heart. Mm -hmm. The car have a computer. Right. That is your that brain. That is your brain, right. No, even in modern days, now the car come to have something called GPS. Mm -hmm. The GPS speaks to what? A satellite. Mm -hmm. We also have the first GPS. That's mm -hmm. why we speak to a higher Oh, that that is a good that is a good analogy. Yeah, I like yeah, that. I like that analogy. Saying, that is a good analogy. No, television, no television need mm -hmm. antenna. Yeah. If you actually put a strana here under a microscope, right, it designs just like an antenna. Oh, that is some deep. Yo, guys, guys, listen. Press some love for Mr. Killer. That is some deep, deep, deep. Let me let me let me pull on let me pull on the I can't try in the park right this. Killer, that is some. Deep understanding right there. A lot of people even a lot of people ain't even reach to that level of understanding right there. So the whole human body framework makeup is like that of a machine. If it's, you could, if you could all, that, there is no, everything. There, there is no machine that has been created that has not been created out of the 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 you understand 
the, the design of a man, of, a man. Of, of mankind. You understand? Because everything that the Father has created has been, we are the most sophisticated machine ever created. There is nothing greater than man. True. So everything that comes after, mm -hmm. comes after man and pattern mm -hmm. after man. You see now, the great the people before us had time. Not in the phones. They didn't have no telephone. Mm -hmm. They had times in the book. They had times in nature. They mm -hmm. had time to look up. Me and you as human beings don't even know that coming out in the evening mm -hmm. and looking at the stars and looking at the sky actually helps heal your body. Mm. Enough people don't know that taking out your shoes from your feet mm -hmm. early in the morning, walking in the sun, mm -hmm. actually detoxes your whole body. Ooh. You understand what I'm saying? So, what I'm saying is that, that we have lost our way because of technology. Mm -hmm. They say man has rose to a greater place. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But really and truly, we rose to greater technology. Yeah. We haven't rose to greater self. Because technology, if you, put those, if you take, take those words apart, mm -hmm. you take knowledge from the man. Of course. You take the knowledge from the man and put it into the machine. Of course. So, that's, that is at the end of the day. Of course. So... At the end of the day, you know, we as we we as we we as we as people supposed to wake up in the morning. No, enough people out there. Well, we you wanted to tell them things that about Mr. Killer that they yes. didn't know. No, yes. this is what they didn't know. Uh -huh. The amount of knowledge that I might have to a lot of different things mm -hmm. and my whole analogy, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm towards life itself mm -hmm. and spirituality and all of this we end up here because I didn't even get to finish answer my question you know, but I don't forget mm -hmm. so you was asking me you know how, why I say mommy right yes you understand what I'm yes. saying yes and my mother is Baptist so when I grew up people used to turn and tell me oh your mother is a Obia woman mm -hmm. and you want to know something I, yeah. I heard that too growing yeah. up I heard that of course and I, I say it so proudly all know that mm -hmm. You understand? I'm happy mm -hmm. that people said that to me. Mm -hmm. That is why I have so much knowledge now. Because when I grew up, I was like a child. I was, I was like, why, why, why would they say that about my, my, my mother? You know, that is the mm -hmm. person that I love. Why, why would they say that about my mother? So I well, wanted, why, why I was want, that? Why was that a talk? Because I, I simply as, because as anything that the black man do not understand and anything that is black mm -hmm. among us that have anything powerful is evil because that is what the white man plays in our mind mm -hmm. that is the white man in your mind speaking because anything that is african is either evil is voodoo is this is that black but not knowing that you could go to well at the catholic church and there is a psalm in the bible that is one on 119 and one of them you understand that say that let the food that he eat that his children eat become like worms in their bowels and this and that that, 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 mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. speak evil on you mm -hmm. and that is not baptist that is not african mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying the amount of thing when you talk about black magic and and all of those things when, if, you, when, you, see black, origin, when you see a black cat you understand what i'm saying <laughs> when you see a black cat then it's this, this then yeah. you get black list Mm -hmm. then is is black meal, meal yeah. then is and anything black is not good black friday yeah. and so that is just the white man in our mind mm -hmm. my mother know i grow with my mother and i see my mother help so much people mm -hmm. My mother at the age of 13, she couldn't help it. She mm -hmm. started knowing things, feeling things. So your mother have a saying, natural sense of... All right. Of, so there was a lot of people that, that born like that. Mm -hmm. She, when when the hospital can cure um, life, people that have life sores and all of them things like that, mm -hmm. my, mother, my mother heals it. She knows it, but she see it in her vision. Nobody never teach her how to do it. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. In in true dreams and vision, they, they give it to her as gift. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That is just her gift. And you saw so, that? You saw... I mean, I grew up seeing it every day. I know. So what I'm saying is, now, my mother will wake in the morning and there is newspaper clippings. She have newspaper. You could go back to the newspaper, call them in Grenada. Mm -hmm. And she will say, Grenada, you're about to face destruction. You understand? Mm -hmm. And in eight days it come. She walk down Guava and she say, people, Mama Water says she going up the river when she coming back down, she going to go with the houses and the bank. Mm -hmm. People laugh, but in three days, house is gone. You wow. understand? So the people from the news will call her and interview and them kind of thing because when she say it, it happens. Now, automatically, for people, that is bad or that is evil or how come? Why? Because they don't understand it. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? 
But then the weird thing is that I growing up as a boy already and I feel things and I feel those things and those things that I have felt come to pass in my mind, in mm -hmm. my thought, I have seen things mm -hmm. and those things have come to pass. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, when I sit down and I think about the human being, I realize that there was something greater. So that made me study because I wanted to understand what happening to my mother, what my mother is, why people will say that. And then I come to understand that we lost. Mm -hmm. In every single place you go, in every single um 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 what you call that a congregation mm -hmm. whether it's baptist whether it's catholic whether it's this whether it's that you understand but don't let me talk about catholic and the application you understand say we don't want to go down that road mm -hmm. because at the end of the day is not about just the church there is a lot of good people in every denomination mm -hmm. and there is a lot of bad people in every single denomination do you think that you got some of your some of these foresight of your mother well in some ways it happens to me you know mm -hmm. along the road i feel things i i see things that's why sometimes i operate so funny and people tell me kid why you like that or oh, you're not doing this or you ain't doing that because really and truly when i wake up in the morning and you know like so come on up my spirit my whole vibes i wake up one morning and say no that is it and i could feel like something talking to me like you know like a greater energy speaking to me right. and it happens to everybody some people know how to listen to it and then some people just don't know how to listen to it mm -hmm. then as i'm saying some people just not connected so they don't know how to listen to it i wake up in the morning mm -hmm. and if i tell you what happened to me the other day you'll never believe the song that i'm working on now that i'm about to um um finish right now right you will never believe but i get to that just now mm -hmm. and sometimes when your vibes speak to you your inner person speak to you i just learn how to listen so when they tell me that is it brother that is not for you no more mm -hmm. and i feel that energy i just leave it and i turn and tell my brother i say watch me now there is something greater for me you know i could feel it mm -hmm. something greater for me you know i say i don't know but at the time i want to tell my fans and tell everybody this mm -hmm. At the time, when I in Soka Monarch, I broke. I don't really have nothing because Soka Monarch not paying me. Imagine, you're doing a show once a year. I'm spending $20,000 right. to, to, to get in to, to do my presentation. Mm -hmm. I get in $30,000. Mm -hmm. That $30,000 that I get, right? Mm -hmm. I, I still have to pay people out of that $10,000 that would remain. If it's a whole year, ahead of me after carnival mm -hmm. how would i survive right. then they take in sometimes six months mm -hmm. four months five months to okay. pay them my money right that business wise is not wise that doesn't make sense so i leave it because my spirit say that is enough now nobody didn't have to tell me mm -hmm. i leave it the year that i leave it is the year i became the most international artist we need to have yes you know what i'm saying yeah. every everything back 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 after that season in Trinidad, I had a next tune called Thunder Rollers. Mm -hmm. Now, Thunder Rollers was like a next roly poly. Mm -hmm. Three quarter way through roly poly, mm -hmm. my whole vibe's telling me again, really and truly, not another roly poly you uh, need to come. Mm -hmm. Work this way, that way, this is how you're supposed to do it. And I follow that. Mm -hmm. So I take my time for the last four years and I pull back mm -hmm. and I study what I have to study. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Study the music. I want to. I want to have a degree in the in the business of music. Right. I want to understand things. I build a studio. My building is three floors for full production. I didn't go build a house. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I build a building for production because that is, I wake up a morning again and the vibe just say, "Kill, I do it now." Yeah. And I say, where, where am I going to do this? I better build it on my, on my land that I have downtown. You know, right. in, in in those kind of nice area. I say, no, build it in your hometown. Mm -hmm. where, where you started mm -hmm. build it where your roots is so I go so and I build it where my roots is now the rest is going the rest is is, is history is going to create itself because if the greater you understand the greater self say do it then I do it I figure it out later and that is the chances I took in my life that's what makes me mm -hmm. great that's what make me be where so I you do today. have the foresight you do have the foresight of your mother well you could say that you, you do have a lot of that yeah. you know what 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 does your intuition tell you when like say for instance you out of the you haven't performed you haven't performed eh? okay no problem i'll move up thank you <laughs> we're live that's what you get when you're on the ride right so what is your intuition telling you now 
about the music industry and going back into Soka Monarch in Grenada? What, what does that nah, well, feel my, to my, you? My, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like, I don't feel like going back into Soka Monarch. Yeah, that is not the, that is not the intention right now. I think the intention right now is to help music on a whole grow. Right. Not just for myself. But in Grenada on a wall. Mm -hmm. That is the energy that I'm feeling at the moment. That is why I built my studio mm -hmm. so I could help do school programs for youths that want to become um, um, better artists and also um, producers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Engineers and stuff like that. I have no friends around the world. I have made so much connections, so much connections over the couple of years that I know a lot of monster people in the business. People who produce for like Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, all of those things. You know Mm -hmm. um, there is movies and stuff like that we, we're supposed to get in just now, you understand? We can't talk too much about yeah, it. Yeah, they miss you in Soka Monarch. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe one day I'll just jump back in and touch it. But <laughs> as I was saying, you know, the vibes now really and truly is to help the whole music grow. Now, culture in Grenada mm -hmm. is not where it's supposed to be. And really and truly, the artists out of Grenada, all the artists out of Grenada, mm -hmm not applying themselves to the system right as yet mm -hmm. so we have a lot of changes to make now remember when you're in soka monak i could go back in soka monak and you will be pleased as a fan but really and truly i can't feed my family mm -hmm. then i'm broke mm -hmm. how would you feel that like you come and see mr killer for 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 20 years mm -hmm. you 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 come in and look at mr killer you're spending money at the door to come and look at me in shoes and then five years from now I, you see me on the side of the street begging you for a dollar mm -hmm. now i know mm -hmm. black people they like that yeah Some people, hey, well, hey, look, i know you when i get no yeah, way look at him a lot i mean i know we black people will like that you know? but if i have to sit down and design this my intention would be to attack the government mm -hmm. attack the people in power and in control of the system mm -hmm. that controls culture, mm -hmm. nation building, sports, mm -hmm. and all of those things so we could have a bigger and a better you understand? Right. culture, a culture foundation and a better application to the world. Because now artists could eat food and come home and feed their family. Mm -hmm. That is building revenue to the country. That is that is feeding people. Because in my country, mm -hmm. Grenada, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful place ever. So why are we not why there is there is not one rich Grenadian artist? Which Grenadian artist have a million dollar home? Which Grenadian artist could walk into a dealership right now and buy a proper vehicle? Which artist in Grenada right now could go and say, you know what, I want to donate $10,000 to a charity home? Which artist right now, when Christmas come around, could buy toys for the kids in the village comfortably? Which artist right now, you understand what I'm saying, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. feel like they're rich where they're going and they could sit down and really eat good food with their family? Answer those questions for me mm -hmm. and then somebody could talk. None. Because at the end of the day, I know that there is none. Mm -hmm. So what does that tell you? And, you know send, I mean? and then St. Vincent next door, mm -hmm. have artists mm -hmm. working a million dollar home. Well, Trinidad, forget that. Have so much. And the thing is, if you look at soca music right now, mm -hmm. Grenada music up in front. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Yeah. Without busting, without busting M16 in this game, you know. Is rocket launcher we boss yeah, yeah, yeah. Choo, we, choo, we music choo, big, choo, and choo, choo, and choo. big bad and yeah, bold <laughs> big bad bold face and dangerous yes the bad you, know what okay, I'm listen, you talk about you talk about applying the system you know what a lot of artists and i had to say this a lot of artists is not applying the model the system okay in this new modern era of social media youtube and all these different platforms right you could take an artist now that produce some music like like look at um um what's his name uh, Drake right he did a yeah. video put it on YouTube right take his million dollar budget give it away and put that video on YouTube and make about twenty million dollars off of it yeah. so applying the system mean that you take what you see everybody else doing in terms of making money using the social media platform to make money you can rely on you your see, shows and everything to make you your see money. now on the end of the day too no if if they say. Who know the truth and do it at not shall be beaten by many a strive. 
who do not know the truth, mm -hmm. the slate shall be wiped clean. That apply to every aspect in life. Right. If you don't know that there is, if a tree got cut in the forest, mm -hmm. and you don't know that tree cut, mm -hmm. you never hear it fall, then you don't know it's cut. Right. You don't know a tree missing in the forest. True. So if you don't know about something, mm -hmm. how would you apply? How would you apply? So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. no, there is so much things going on in the world. There is so much things that we could tap into, but we have never been taught right. about it. Right. You understand? Right. As artists. Mm -hmm. So I travel the world and I learn it on my own. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to share with all the rest of artists. Right. But it's not just that. No, how much time would I have to go and sit down with every single artist to show them that? Mm -hmm. We also missing togetherness. Mm -hmm. So the artists don't yeah. have workshops. Yeah, we yeah. don't have together meetings and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. we could share information and stuff. So I think it's on, it's on culture, right? Because mm -hmm. if we have a cultural foundation, they're supposed to find those things, find those workshops mm -hmm. and educate the people. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. is what you're there for. Mm -hmm. You supposed to be the grand library. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to come to you and you're supposed to be able to guide us. Right. Because if you are you not just you not just any you're not a private foundation, you know. You the government. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So that means you have to have the access mm -hmm. to almost everything that is going on culturally around the world right uh, if you don't have you're supposed to mm -hmm. so then you're supposed to find it mm -hmm. so you're supposed to be able to bring in the people to teach the people about copyright systems mm -hmm. right right you're supposed to to, to 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 help the artists build and help the artists know how to market you understand right. themselves mm -hmm. You supposed to you supposed to help them grow. So if you're not helping me grow, if I'm down on the island, remember great as the island and not everybody go have the access to everything. And they don't even know what to look for. Mm -hmm. You understand? When they go on the internet, you don't know what to look for. But someone asked a question there, right? And it makes a lot of sense. They say, why do you think that Grenadian artists can among to make the millions, right? But I have a, I have a, I have I have another addition to that question. Grenadian music ponging all over the place, right? Yes. Grenadian artists have just a, the same access to the internet to learn about these things like everybody else, right? Right? Do you think that the Grenadian artists, a lot of them, is not applying themselves as that well is, as but, but they that should? Is, that is a big part of it. That is a very big part of it. In Grenada right now, how mm -hmm. much artists does get paid from the copyright system? Uh, 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 probably not. So when I went to Trinidad, right? Right. I went to Trinidad. I re I, I registered. With, 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 with caught the copyright system after after roly poly in one season I collect sixty thousand dollars you hear me right from copyright system in Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. how much years now my music playing on the radio in Grenada mm -hmm. I only learned that when I get to Trinidad understand what I'm saying mm -hmm. so at the end of the day there's a lot of things that is happening mm -hmm. that we just don't know no. about. Mm -hmm. There is music festivals around the world that we could actually travel. I just came from Panama. I'm mm -hmm. the second soca artist to ever perform in Panama. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And the people hungry for the vibes, hungry for the music. But the only reason why I end up in Panama is because of my trip to China. Right, yeah. I with, people, with people that I met on the road. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So if I, I was if I didn't have the access to travel to the world and to meet certain people. You understand? Not every artist would have yeah, that. Yes, true. There is also workshops and um, what they call them? It's not forums. No, they call them um, well, it's like a music festival. But I want to get the right name. Anyways, like this big music festival mm -hmm. where you could go and you could shop your music, you could meet people in music, and you could do a lot of networking to different people around the world that can actually help you get your music in in the right placement. Right. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's all about the right application towards your music. It's also all about marketing. Marketing. And that is not you see. Barbados on a whole. Barbados market their music. Barbados, look at St. Vincent. St. Vincent gave, I think, Skinny Fabulous proper money to represent in Trinidad. I remember one time, I don't know if they did it all the years. Mm -hmm. I maybe, maybe have years that he went down there and he suffered as well. Mm -hmm. But for some, some reason, mm -hmm. you know, not some reason, but somehow, Conference, he, 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 right, he put it in, in, um, 
in, in, into perspective. They put it into sp- perspective. You understand? They put it in place mm-hmm. where he got money to go represent. Mm-hmm. You understand? I go in Trinidad and I, I get left stranded in Trinidad 2004. Really? Me alone as a youth. A life for my mother and go back down. Mm-hmm. They leave me stranded. They tell me to go meet me down there, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Nobody come to meet me. I was stranded in Trinidad. So I spent two days in a hotel, very lost. You hear me? Mm-hmm. I go back up, take my own money out of the bank and lie to my mother mm-hmm. and say, Mommy, well, it's not a lie. It's just, it just all was. Twisted the truth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I you just kind of yeah. polish it. She probably know that you're told out the lie anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I, say, I say, Yeah, Mommy, you have people down there waiting on me and stuff like that. You know, everything will be alright. And I go back down. I, I, I sit down in my hotel room and I cry. You understand? Mm-hmm. I cried. I remember that. I sit down in my hotel room as, as a youth and I cried 2005. I never forget that. Going to Trinidad and sing girl wine if you're whining. That's the first time I get into Soka Muna. Yeah, I remember that. I did yeah. it on my own. You understand? Uh, is Judah meet me in a hotel? Judah, song system in Grenada. Mm-hmm. Meet me in a hotel. I want to explain to him what happened. And Judah paid for two more days for me. Mm-hmm. Them time I go in a lime and the drag mall. And make friends in Trinidad for myself. It's only because of that little warrior in me. I make it. I in Trinidad, me alone as a youth, I made friends. There is a Rasta man that I sell by the drag mall right now telling that I want to run for my eye mm-hmm. because, you know. There is a Rasta man called Kida. Mm-hmm. Anybody could meet Kida right now in Trinidad. He still sells in the drag mall. That man became my friend. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because I didn't know who to trust. Them time, the only thing I hear about Trinidad, Trinidad bad and Trinidad this and Trinidad that. And I don't there and I take the chance and I say, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make friends. You understand? And I made friends on the drag mall for myself. When I'm about to give up, mm-hmm. one more day I have there and I'm about to give up because I decide tomorrow I'm going to go home. I meet Judah and Judah said, Killer, what happened to you? Why you look so, man? Mm-hmm. I said, Judah, I explained everything to him. Judah paid for two days for me. You hear me? And I could speak it out and I say thanks to him all the time. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. After that, I, I come to find out that he's my blood family. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. But Judah paid for that two days and gave me the links to the people. The anger, the rage mm-hmm. inside of me, plus the happiness. When I reach on the first show, mm-hmm. judge, I shell it like, like peas. Mm-hmm. You understand? Then the next show, then people start link me and I start doing it. I had a phone and I'm talking like if I'm a manager. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, right, right. I'm right. talking like if I'm my own manager. In China. <laughs> it's just my intelligence, you know? Mm-hmm. Make me make it. Because when people call the phone, I answer in like a different man. I say, yeah, because I'm supposed to have a manager, but I had nobody. Wow. At the time. So the system failed you? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, when I started to get shows like that, I go and I rent a house. I drive in Trinidad without a license. You understand? Because I had to move around. Mm-hmm. I, have, I had no choice until I meet a, a, a guy from Grenada called Siggy. Mm-hmm. Siggy was in Trinidad at the time. Shot, so no people maybe know shot man Siggy. And I meet Siggy and Siggy know the whole place. So Siggy become my driver and me and Siggy start a roll. I go and link dancers, I start to meet people you now and after every single show I build my connection, build my connection, build my connection and gone. I did it on my own. Mm-hmm. But if I didn't have the belly, if right. I didn't have the mind, where would I have been? I would have get crushed too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would have get left behind. Because the people that had the power at the time to make me move forward. You understand? The same people that right now that when I come out here and I sing song, mm-hmm. George, when I travel the world, mm-hmm. when Roly Poly become the most viewed choker song in history, brother, he feed their family. My music feed their family. My music help feed the government. Mm-hmm. You hear me? Mm-hmm. My music help feed the man on the side of the road that sell the coconut water. Yeah. Because people travel to Grenada for what? Carnival. Carnival yeah. When they travel to Carnival, Carnival is not the biggest revenue income eh? that mm-hmm. could happen in one. In, in, you understand what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. In one includes time. Mm-hmm. In one small period of the year, that season brings in the most revenue. Mm-hmm. Who caused that to happen? Yeah, not the, the, artist, the artist. The artist. The artist. <clears throat> not, not the inspector. Yeah. Not the Ajamo, not the same tangler was dead the other day and they had to bury him like nothing. Mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. And don't get no real honor. Mm-hmm. Not the, 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 the African teller what died the other day again and had to get buried like nothing. Mm-hmm. Who bring in the revenue to the country? Who attract? Who, who give? Who is the att- what is the attraction Action. to Grenada Carnival? If not no job and job music. Mm-hmm. 
not the artist that create that. We are the painter of that picture. So how come the artists who creating that and bringing in the biggest revenue to the country don't get no respect? How come you not pumping a, 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 a whole heap of money into the marketing of the country? You know why? Because we are already marketing it. Right. All of us. Yeah. Artists. We are, that is yeah. why I can't say me. Mm -hmm. Because any man think that they're bigger than the culture. They lie. Yeah, the true, culture true. is bigger than the man. Culture bigger than the man. I am just a cell. I'm just a functioning cell of that body. Mm -hmm. You check what I'm saying? I just, yeah. I, I just a part of the heart. I, I feel like I'm being uh, like, like, like the left ventricle. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right. Pumping that blood. You check it? Into the body of my culture. So at the end of the day, you just need to fuel me. Mm -hmm. And I will become the monster that bring in the revenue. But if you don't even know how to invest in that, then how would it build? So from a government point of view, the government don't see how the foresight to put more money because I heard I mean I spoke to Kirk Sitter Hall here. He's doing mm. he's doing a, he's he's doing his best job as Spice Man CEO, right? The government I think invests seven hundred thousand dollars into the music. Artists get like what forty, fifty thousand dollars or whatever the case might be. <laughs> but that that is that that is no money. Seven hundred thousand dollars. You don't feel shame to say that. Yeah, well, that, the, we we all said it. Right? We all said it, right? But no, but the, the fact about it is, the fact about it is, seven hundred thousand dollars when the carnival itself make millions and have the potential to make millions and millions and millions of dollars. How much? Seventy something million. How much? How much it was? I don't know the number, but I will find out the number soon because no. When somebody, somebody say, oh, oh um, um. Somebody say not you. Raphael, yeah, how, how, tell me how much. If they pay less than that or whatever the case is. Within well, that who have the information? Just write, just, just the write, information, write the information no? there. But the fact is... The Why artist, you say not true about? I'm not sure. Probably the amount of money that the artists get paid or the amount of money that the that the government give to... Well, yeah, well, the, put it up. Yeah, but no, no. I spoke to Kirk recently. The government gives $750,000 uh, $750, to run Carnival. And that's not just for artists. That's for everything in Carnival. So, so we'll make sure you pay attention and see the number who that person said. Yeah, well, that, that is that, that muscles. That, 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 that my family. I want, yeah. I want to know if that is not true. Then tell they have me to be more much. injection in because the... I know yeah. that culture not getting no five million dollars. No, neither two. So tell me how much money. Yeah, so everyone say they have their attention, and that is true. The artists do not the, the whole the whole art form. And I think that if they do a very when good when assessment... When the person say that not true with them? But that, that, that must us. He's going to post. Okay, just that. 750000 is not enough. And that, that is... Not that square. I don't want to see. You see, when I'm talking, I'm a man I like facts. You know? I, I not, don't put me in a conversation that... And don't start no conversation that you can't defend immediately. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not the person to have that kind of conversation with. Because when I'm having conversation, mm -hmm. the conversation has to be pumping. You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible tells you, I like, look what my fiery hot. And... <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't make a statement and then get cold so whoever say the money is not true a while ago you know what I'm saying hotel sector yeah yeah, yeah. whoever say that is not hey true look at Boise 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 up in there Boise say hi yeah bless up bless up bless up <laughs> bless up, up Boise bless up my yeah. brother, brother. In, in the meantime why are we getting the numbers hey we have Mr. Killer in the building now. we're talking some real facts a lot of things Killer speak on this program here today. All you never hear before, I bet all of that. All you never hear nowhere before. This is the conversation. This is when they turn up the music and talk to the artists. The artists, you could learn so much of them. Mr. Killer could could you you listen? You should have like a like a forum, like a conference, killer. Because artists in Grenada and around the camp, especially in Grenada, they know they need to know I how to. I just see somebody say something about I, I don't know. Um somebody say I'm not what? Go, go back up. Street. We're looking for the comment. We're looking for the comment. We're looking for the comment. I don't know. They may be the answer yet. Po post it. But, but, yeah. but anyways, mm -hmm. no. Let me let me get back to the to the, to the thing because it's it's important, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now, I am an artist. From the age of ten, I started, you know, mm -hmm. and I doing soca a lot of years now. So I've been in this my whole life, mm -hmm. and I know what the the, the the treatment is. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you something. When come to government, you see politics? Politics mm -hmm. is a thing I don't, I don't want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. 
You understand what I'm saying? Because right. as a people, you need to stand up for what is right and what is wrong. Right. It don't matter which government. Mm -hmm. If NDC doing stupid things, mm -hmm. you understand? Right. I'm going to say that you're doing stupid, stupid things. Right, right. If NNP do so, right. then I will see it fit to also say so, mm -hmm. that you're doing stupid things. Right, right. Now, when come to the Prime Minister, I will sit, I will have a meeting with the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. And the Prime Minister would want great things to happen. Mm -hmm. This is not about the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. Because the Prime Minister can do all of this. Mm -hmm. He can do it. Right. The Prime Minister is only one man. Mm -hmm. And think about your day as a person. How much things you just have, have to do. To do yes. And he have to run a country. He's still a part of the Caribbean and the OECS, whatever. Mm -hmm. and plus understand? his personal life. Plus his personal life. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So... The Prime Minister have other people mm -hmm. to handle things, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Also, he have a say. Mm -hmm. So, the next meeting is supposed to be with the Prime Minister to say, Boss, this is not working out for us. Mm -hmm. This is what we could do. This is what we have been doing. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? The Prime Minister do they no show. In foreign to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. So the people in culture are supposed to travel to Miami Carnival. Yeah. They're supposed to travel to London Carnival. They're supposed to travel to places around the world that our culture is a part of. And not just a part of that, our culture is leading. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. our, our culture is exceeding. Mm -hmm. Le great. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you're supposed to be there to see, to represent. Mm -hmm. And to be a part of it and to help it grow. You understand yes, what I'm saying? True, that is true. not happening right now. And we want that. That need to happen. So the right people who have the right knowledge, have the right understanding, the right ideology to, to make this happen need to fall in place. Mm -hmm. That is what we need. Mm -hmm. So the Minister of Culture, the people that is running um, um, Carnival, the, uh, Carnival the carnival committee all of these people tourism is a big part of that so all of these people mm -hmm. need you understand to function on that level them alone can do it so if you're running something like culture how come culture or carnival committee never really sit down and ask me what i want mm -hmm. what will they, they, what? they ever had a conversation with you killer what what do you want as an artist no nobody never asked me that because nobody don't feel like they want to give me nothing I don't feel nobody feel like they really want to give me nothing. Mm -hmm. If if remember black people like when you're begging them. Mm, they want you to come and ask for. Yeah, and I speak in the truth. If 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 the minister of culture have a problem with what I saying, right. then call me and say, well, that is not my intention. That is not how I meant it. Maybe I'm busy. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying that they don't have the intention. Right. No. Our our farmer minister we had enough conversation mm -hmm. and the intention she had the great intention mm -hmm. but it's not just the intention you need a team mm -hmm. to function yes you understand what i'm saying and you have some people you go to them to try to get something done mm -hmm. and it's the hardest thing to ever do they don't function so people will come and blame try to blame the prime minister and blame this and blame who no i want to blame the people that is in the position to make it happen all of us have to function you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And also the Prime Minister maybe need to understand because you have times I sit with the PM and we have brief conversations and certain things to get done and it never happened because the people that supposed to make it happen, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not doing it. Mm -hmm. Them have their own personal, personal thing, yeah. view towards things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is not how we go. Okay, I think the way forward for artists, for musicians, for people in Grenada, especially coming up to Carnival and beyond. You shouldn't be running on a, like a stairs, a continuous stairs to make a money. As you said, you get you, you put in your royalties and you can get your sixty thousand dollars, you get whatever the case might be. Artists is not using the resources of social sure. media. They're not using the resources of social media where they could put a song on YouTube. I see a lot of the times, right? And you correct me if I'm wrong. A lot of the time, artists will send a certain the music to a certain um, whatever, a, a certain um, website or that that manage on Facebook because they have right. three hundred thousand viewers or whatever the um, subscribers or whatever the case might be, right? Yeah, yeah. And that particular person, they charge them a money to put the money on YouTube, and then that particular person, that particular song get forty, fifty, sixty thousand <laughs> views, right? So you get who your, make the money? You just pay somebody to make to money make money with on your, you with your song. Yes. 
So that man making money and you have to pay him, you know. Mm -hmm. You have to pay that particular person money. Uh -huh. And he say, well, okay, I put it up. He put up your song. The song get a million views. I mean, and I, you make I, no money I, from I, it. I, for myself right now, working on some things, I mean, even technology based, mm -hmm. that could help make the music better. It's a tough endeavor. Mm -hmm. Just like how I building a, a, a state-of-the-art studio on the island, my building is three floors. Right. It's not, it's not my house. Mm -hmm. That's a very tough endeavor. Right. I give my all to my music. Mm -hmm. My music is my life. So that's why I have other things in play you now that could try to help the music and help the music industry. But you know what? Some of us, we so dumb that we don't realize that if we work together, then as I'm saying, we could conquer the beast. Yeah. You check what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if we separate it, because uh, you know it, divided we fall. We fall. Yeah. Together we yeah. stand. But we have no togetherness. No, no, no. That's so the problem. That's we the can't. Problem. Then we can't conquer the beast. We, we so can. then, at the end of the day, you know, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I realize, yo, like a big part of this mission is just like I, I'm, I'm alone. You understand what I'm saying? There's other people that feel the same way that I feel, but some of them afraid to speak. Mm -hmm. Some of them afraid to stand up. Maybe some of them don't have the intelligence to apply themselves to it, right? But say it how you could. Mm -hmm. At least say that it is not right. It's not right. Stand up for something. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because if you see wrong and you stand not against it, it simply means that you might be standing for it. Yes. So at the end of the day, you have to rise up and fight for what you believe in, fight for what you love. Yeah. Fight for what you want to see grow positively. The togetherness so, is not there. Our problem is that we don't have togetherness and we accept too much a low key application. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we don't educate ourselves. True. You check what I'm saying? True. And we don't educate Janice ourselves. Janice Augustine says copyright in Grenada is robbery. Some of the artists and get them a uh, dime. And that's, but that, that is that's, what I'm trying to tell you. I, I don't really hear about artists getting no money from copyright system in Grenada and Grenadian music playing all the time. Yeah, Jada when, Rocky said, yeah, go, go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll remember go ahead, read it. She said that um, when uh, she said that um, Grenada artists need to work together, need to work together. Uh, one voice is not one voice is making enough sound. Enough well, song. well, really and truly, my voice gonna get very, very, very low, you know, because that is one of my applications this year. Because I have it so, I have it bank up so much mm -hmm. that there is every that er, there is every uh, every aspect of this in my mind. I have it covered. You understand what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I'm sure that I could inject fire into it mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, I've been living it. That is my whole life, mm -hmm. you know. And if we don't have the right application. If we don't have the right people to stand up and speak, then nobody really listen to you. True. You understand what I'm saying? True. What I am also saying, I want people to understand this. Now, a lot of the time when we Grenadians stand up and speak, we stand up and speak because we angry. Mm -hmm. We have some sort of foul feelings. And we come out and, you know, we, we, there is a big outburst. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. And it is not taken up the right way. Mm -hmm. Now, this conversation that we have in and how I am speaking to you at the moment is begging that we Grenadians, and not just Grenadians, because this is bigger than, than just one Grenada. The whole Caribbean, you understand? My whole, my whole race, my whole generation, all my people, it's time for us to really come together. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to support what is ours. It's time for us to see the light. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See the great possibilities. You understand? See beyond just a face mm -hmm. and learn to see heart. Learn to see soul. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In the things that you believe in. So at the end of the day, this conversation is not about running down this or running down that or decrediting somebody. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is all about trying to make the engine work. work yeah. Let's get the engine working. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Don't make the engine grumble and run out of gas. No. Give it enough fuel so you can keep running. You mm -hmm. start the engine once a year. Mm -hmm. And the way that you start the engine is like you don't really want to start it. Or you start it and position it in a way where it only benefits you. Mm -hmm. It don't benefit me. True. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we need to change those things. And that is 
that is my that is my 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 my, my quest yeah. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. that is the application of my mind as the application of my heart now this this program mm -hmm. you understand has just found the stairs to another level yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> to a different level but no but but it, 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 we all need to elevate ourselves nothing if you stay if you if you decide and you don't you don't you don't try to advance yourself or advance your agenda we're always trying to look at different things to get to a different level to a higher level but the togetherness, Jed, the togetherness, why we can't come together? Why after you see somebody moving a little way or trying to advance and, and, and try to bring everybody in the queue, everybody trying to fight, you know, that crab in the virus syndrome, it's it, 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 it terrible. Know, you know, I used, to, I, I, be a, I used to be on Trinidad News. Well, I still be on Trinidad News sometimes, entertainment news, Jamaica newspaper, Jamaica news. And, you know, I, 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 I didn't used to be in Grenada News. Yeah, that, okay. that is so weird to me, though. You know what I'm saying? That Grenada it's, it's news. King never get, never, yeah, never I don't get be on Grenada news. None. I don't hear my artists and them being on Grenada news. We have to see it on Facebook. We have to see it on the Instagram. And if you see it on the Instagram, you tell me there is not a news person that actually goes to the artists and follow a culture True. And, and, and promote it. Let me people know. I was the first soca artist to win the Caribbean Awards. How much Grenadians know that? Eh? They ever been on news? No. One of the first two artists to be published over five African countries. Eh? Mm. Then I was the first soccer artist to have the first most viewed soca video, video in the history of soccer. Yes, 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 yes. Eh? Yes, but well, I know that. Over a million plus. Yeah, the, the first Grenadian artist to perform, soccer artist to perform in China. I am the only soca artist I think at the moment, I don't know if anybody else did it as yet, to mm. perform Chicago and mm. sell out. Mm -hmm. Up to this time. Mm -hmm. you understand what, about the, what about the uh, reality show? Yeah, the first soca artist to be on an international reality television show mm -hmm. out in America, Bravo TV. Yeah, you understand? Again, there is there is so much things, so much title that Grenada hold. How much monster soca hits he had for the past 10 years? I want everybody to go and do some homework and that and see how much Grenadian songs there mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. in that list mm -hmm. and who it is. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Think about that. So if there is nobody to actually dig up, you understand, and, and archive mm -hmm. the whole, you know, the culture and, 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 and the levels of the thing, then how, 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 yo. Someone said they didn't even know about the reality show. You know, the only look, the only time some people react is <clears throat> because we are a reactive society. We are reactive. You know, wait for something to happen to react to. Yeah, the, the first, the first outside artist to become to come second in 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 in, in Trinidad. Yeah, well, to beat up the thing to <laughs> beat up. <You> the thing. <laughs> yo, enough knowledge, yo, 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 killer. You, you give them some knowledge, yeah, you know. Yeah, no, give yeah, them knowledge I'm, for I'm, enough, I'm, for enough, yeah, for two I'm, shows, I'm, you know. I'm, yeah, but I'm just, I'm just saying that. You know what I'm saying? So if there is all of that information out there, if I have done all of those things, you know what I'm saying? My people don't know about it, but Jamaica know about it. Yeah. Trinidad know about it. How how ridiculous is that though? Huh? True. How great have I done in music as an artist? You're amazing. You know what I'm saying? How great have I done? You know? If I turn and I ask now enough people in the government or uh, in the position about where Grenada music have been. Mm -hmm. What has it done for the last 10 years? What markets has it tapped into? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. What has it done for the revenue of mm -hmm. the country? Mm -hmm. And all of those things. How much of them could answer that so question? They probably don't know. They probably don't know either. They probably don't know either. You understand what I'm saying? And someone say, Beverly say, knowledge is power. So it's important that we have in this conversation. Because this conversation, believe it or not, this conversation will end up in a minister I, in but, but, but it's supposed to. It, yeah, it, it will. It has to. I'm speaking to everybody, you know. I'm speaking to the lowest, to the highest, because I'm yeah. speaking the truth. It's time for us to have the discussion. It's time for us to have the discussion publicly mm -hmm. also. No, I'm a cultural I'm a cultural ambassador to my island. Mm -hmm. I didn't just own that because I just in Grenada doing some shows or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I earned it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, I earned it. Whether you give me a passport or not, I earned it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you calculate my popularity, mm -hmm. 
in the Caribbean Ahsoka artists, where do I fall? I'm in the top 10 most popular Ahsoka artists in the world. Mm-hmm. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? True. And something that Grenadians should be proud of. They don't, they don't, they don't even, they don't even, re- I don't know if they even realize or even recognize that. You check what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Welcome to performance. Who is the baddest thing? <laughs> 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 no, Did no, yeah, man. Know that. No, Did today, you know today, that? today, I have to speak that way because it's time for us. And you know what? I was on a flight mm-hmm. with a old, with a older guy, and he said to me, "Why you guys don't speak of yourself? Why don't you speak of your country proudly?" He said, "That is not boasting. Mm-hmm. Forget about people that tell you that you're bossy or whatever it is. That is there is a fine line." Mm-hmm. When you are speaking the truth, mm-hmm. it's different yeah. from when you're trying to boast. Boast is when you're pushing up your chest and you're, you're trying to be in, in, in you know, and you understand what I'm saying, beyond what it is. Right, right. But this is true facts. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not a boasty person. I always humble in my own corner. Yeah, right. Yeah. Unless I see something I don't like and I feel to speak about it because, mm-hmm. you know, they say if you see it wrong and you don't speak, you don't stand against it, you stand it fast. Mm-hmm. So, anyways. What I'm saying here is now that we own titles. Mm-hmm. We did things. You understand? I'm saying that we're supposed to be proud of. Proud of, yeah, yeah, true. But nobody gives you credit for it. You understand? I'm saying. Well, I, I think that I think that people in Grenada, the, the the majority of the people in Grenada, honor you as a cultural ambassador. They know that even before you got the official acclamation of of cultural ambassador, because we see you. You travel all over the world. You you represent Grenada in every every way you go. You did great in Trinidad. You Grenada was Grenadians everywhere was happy when you went and performed on the big stage. Almost beat Marshall. Well, they say you beat Marshall. Yeah. You know everybody is happy when that is done. But how how did you get there? Sometimes most of the time you 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 backbone all this. You want to know? You know want to know? You want to know how I get there? How I got there? Huh? I slept on the floor, brother. I stay hungry. Mm-hmm. I get used and abused. You understand what I'm saying? You, my talent get used and abused. I got, I got used and abused as an artist. Mm-hmm. You have promoters in Grenada right now that I do a load of shows for when I was younger and never get paid. Never get no money. Mm-hmm. You have people brought me for shows and I supposed to get a ride home. And from in the back of St. David's, I walk in 3 o'clock in the morning. Whoa. You understand what I'm saying? There are times I go without no food to eat and take my last little money. I have to go and ask my mother. You understand? Mm-hmm. For little money to do this and to do this. And that's why I must ball my maid because when I need it, she gave it to me. Mm-hmm. Even though she beat me for running away. When I wanted to do something, she supported me. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? My first little instrument that I could put up as a like a studio and thing she helped me she helped me get it so that is what i i went through i went through hunger i went through suffering mm-hmm. i went through a lot of hard working time there were there was times there was times mm-hmm. i go to saint lucia no i must big up mr Courtney louis mm-hmm. dirty dutch you understand mm-hmm. rest in peace libo libo ganda is the guy that built um in saint lucia that built um roly poly you understand what I'm saying? I must say blessed love and thanks to FIBA. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And FIBA, blacks. And there was a lot of people that I must say blessed love and thanks to. Even even Jude. Jude was a little brother. We live together. We do music together. Mm-hmm. Those was the people that, that was there as, as, as a friend. That had the musical ability. That could have, you know, knock two and two together. Right. You understand? Put two and two together to make it work. I must big up Radford ATN in mm-hmm. Canada. He did songs for me at that time. Radford didn't even charge me for music. He had time that Dutch didn't even charge me for some of the songs. You know, he don't have to charge me for music because he believed in me so much. Yeah. That is how I made it. You understand what I'm saying? But you know what I did? I work along with those people. Mm-hmm. I did my best. I had to learn to co-produce. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I could get my music done. Mm-hmm. Big up to Reese Sam. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Reese Sam put herself out like she was my own blood. You understand what I'm saying? Because she saw she had faith in me. Mm-hmm. 
in Trinidad when I when they leave me stranded. Doctor Friday, mm-hmm. you understand? Doctor Friday, mm-hmm. big up yourself, brother. You understand? Right. He bought some of the tickets for my dancers to come down. I was so patriotic that I'm in Trinidad. Mm-hmm. I don't have nothing. I don't have no money. Mm-hmm. You hear me? And I still didn't want to just get Trinidad dancers. Mm-hmm. I wanted to fly my dancers down. I always have faith in my own people. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And I did it. I did it. I did it on my own. The only person that bought a ticket for me was Dr. Friday. Mm-hmm. You understand? To bring somebody down. Wow. You see it? Wow. The other day when I was to do roly poly and I needed the support, they had to, some people came together and did the motorcade and stuff to try to raise little funds yes. for me. Yes. I give thanks to, to Cut Ross and, and all of those but people. But people were saying that that shouldn't happen a lot of people was well, but, but that is what i'm trying yes, that is what yes, i'm trying to I tell you so it. really and truly that's why that's how i made it yeah. you understand what i'm saying yeah by some key people that is why today i want to build my studio so i could help some youth i tell you that i want i want to run for my eye i want to build yeah. my studio i want to be able to to help somebody else but how could i help somebody if i am not functioning now i cannot help yeah i cannot help myself you understand what i'm saying yeah Pick up to Kirk, Kirk Skeet. I, I, I read all this comment, but that's the guy over for, from um, Lavo Lane. Yes, he's, he's watching it. Pick up yourself, yes, Kirk. Yes, I. You know, talking about it make tears want to run from my eye because, brother, there is people that, that stretch their hands to me when they saw me, you know, helpless. Right now, I, I kicked down. When I came in, I was the youngest thing, you know, mm-hmm. in the industry, you know. You know? Right. And I kicked down doors kick down doors for all these artists to come right now yes yes you understand what i'm yeah. saying in my time i didn't have the privilege that they have right right now so you part the way you understand and they what I'm saying? them time i couldn't even find producers i take up all my little money and i fly go canada radford atn mm-hmm. saw the he saw it in me so he helped you understand what i'm saying he helped so he's one of the person responsible mm-hmm. i go back home i need some more music done i fly to st lucia I sleep on floor, I sleep on couch, I stay hungry at times, you understand what I'm saying? But yeah. Dutch help me. Mm-hmm. So I must grow and go and get into a position where I can help the youths to come. True. And that's why I always help people because I came from a different era. I came from the era where, you understand what I'm saying? You had to do it together, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that is how I made it, brother. Mm-hmm. That is how I made it to where I'm at, where I'm at today. And sometimes we don't like to give credit to the people that stretch a hand towards you. There might be names I, I, I forget to call. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But blessings. Someone, someone but, said King. Yeah, blessings unto you. Yes, King man. Again, mm-hmm. he did the song with me and Brother B. Mm-hmm. You understand that been a that been a hit also mm-hmm. he been contributing music to grenada for years upon years you understand we don't we don't give those people credits you right, understand sure, what i'm saying sure, sure. we don't give those people credits so at the end of the day when you really break it down right now people talk to me you don't feeling that you, right now you don't have the feeling that don't don't you have the vision right now of this great that that great ship that we have you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. that great it's big yeah it's big it's, it's big, big. Big. You understand what I'm saying? Culture is big. Culture big. is big. Grenada right now is big. Every finger pointing at Grenada right now. Can you feel it? You could feel it, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. So it's the time now for us to shape it into the right way. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Shape it and sail it out in the greater oceans. Because it is great. You Con- understand what I'm saying? Conversations like this and more needs to be happening ha- ha- continue happening of course and artists they have to they have to come together everybody can be every can every, everybody can be fighting their own battles they need some kind of cohesiveness some kind of organizations kind of coming together artists you need to understand revenues and avenues of making money because i, I heard Faye and lion say that one time and she's very true somebody say zingo i must big up zingo you know yeah I must big up Zingo. My first song, Soka song, um, <laughs> with, um, um, Guavalone, we have in Carnival. Uh-huh. You see? I might forget names. That's right. Guavalone, we have in Carnival. Zingo was the first man bring me to a studio. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? Right. To record Guavalone, my first Soka song. You understand? So big up to Zingo. You check? Yeah. Um, 
the person that did that song was 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 Bosco. Mm -hmm. You understand? Bosco the pan man. Mm -hmm. Live Canada now. So big up to Bosco, big up to Zingo. It's time to give Jackie Jacket. You understand what I'm true, saying? True. And Jackie she jazz. She jazz. She jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Kila, we, we are about that, that wrap up time. But let's leave on a closing note. Let's put this all together. Where we go from here, what could we start to do? How could we actually put motion action and not just we just talk and hey just another ride along well when come to me when come to me i'm doing a lot at the moment you know mm -hmm. i'm doing a lot at the moment mm -hmm. i'm out here i'm in new york at the moment meeting with a lot of monster people i mean producers producers on a whole on a whole another level you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. Zingo, Zingo is there actually. Yes, I big up yourself, Zingo. <laughs> big up, big up. Love and blessings, brother. All the time. And I must big up Inspector. Yeah, well, I, I'm sure Specky I Speck must big up. I must big up the, 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 you understand? the Godfather. Big up Uncle Specky. You understand what I'm saying? Uncle, yeah. big up yourself. Full hundred. You understand? And thank you for all the things you did for me back in the day. Inspector was a man that when I came to New York one time, I lived with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Big up to Rockin' J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Big up yeah. to Rockin' J. You know? Big up to them Monday because them Monday give me shelter back in the day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And not afraid to say thanks. Black people, we don't like to say thanks, you know? True. We true. don't like to call name and I give true, nobody true, credit, true, you know? True, you know what I'm saying? True, oh, true. like I did it on my own. And, you know what I'm saying? No. An artist is as great as his team. Yeah. Yeah man, Kim from Kim from Trinidad. Trinidad is locked on. Everybody's locked on. Everybody Kim, that's watching. Big up yourself. Oh Kim, my friend Kim. Yeah, maybe. Kim. Big up my friend Kim. If if it's my friend Kim. Yes, sir. Yeah. If, it, if it's my friend Kim, she played a great part of my team also in Roly Poly and everything. So you see? Yeah. There's a lot of people. A lot of people. There's a lot of people. Lot of people. So for me right now i'm doing a lot of things you know i want to go in the future well i don't want to talk it too much but the future we want to jump into in movies right and as i'm saying right i talking to people out here that want to come to grenada from big films industry mm -hmm. and stuff like that i want to come and do documentaries in grenada want to mm -hmm. do shows in grenada and stuff like that you understand what i'm saying so i am doing everything that i could do you know, and I just put I just put some people on in Grenada mm -hmm. to a huge film company out here that wanna do um a reality TV show in Grenada. Right. So I hope that work out. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So I pull the links and I give it to them sometime quietly. You understand? I don't come out and say, okay, I do this, I do that, but I'm doing a lot. I'm meeting with, with some huge, huge producers mm -hmm. out here at the moment. You understand? <clears throat> From different genres, different industries and stuff like that that can help the music go forward. Yeah. That's why I say when my studio is finished, you understand what I'm saying? I, I wish that the government could have helped me more with the studio. But you never know, you know, I tell you, this program is doing it. people yeah, in Yeah, I'm doing it on my, on my own. My studio, I literally doing it on my own. Mm -hmm. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Big up to me. Mr. Alvin Dabrio, he give me two load of sun. You understand? When I, when I, no, I mean, he still, he, he still do, yeah, two load of sun, but he still did what he could do right. and respected that. You understand? Right, Some right, people right. don't give nothing at all. Right. You understand? I mean, if they're listening out there and they could help, then bless and love and thanks. Yeah. But I, I, I will speak the truth, yeah. you know, all the time. Uh, you don't get me to come out and speak regular, so you know what? To speak everything. True, true. Right? So I doing what I can. But, on our whole, the nation, mm -hmm. the nation is the healer of this problem. Yeah. We have to support our own. Oh, our that's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Simple. Why you feel I couldn't win in Trinidad? Because you didn't get all the support. Yeah. And Trinidad yeah. defend their own. Yeah. Jamaica defend their own. Yeah. You understand? Jam you, could, you feel you could go and ramp with reggae? No. Jam that is Jamaica own. Right. You could right, only right. try to be a part, part of, it. of it. Yeah. True. You understand? True. But it's like our thing, everybody could just come and take it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Defend your own. Yeah. Support your own artists. <coughs> that, that, you understand? That, that, so we, so we can that's grow. If you have a plant in your flower garden, mm -hmm. You have one beautiful rose in your flower garden. They tell you this is one of the highest strain of, of, of roses. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And every time you go to water that plant, mm -hmm. you take in the bucket of water mm -hmm. and throw it in the cedar tree. <laughs> eh? And you're giving the rose a lick of yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. You know, then the cedar tree come now mm -hmm. and the roots start poisoning the rose. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you're not watering your plant. True. 
This is like a plant. You have to water it. You have to nurture it so it can grow, so it can flourish, it can blossom, it can bloom. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But we, we don't pay attention to that. Little things in life, the smallest things in life, the, the smallest applications in life sometimes are the most key, key. applications. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? True. And all we need to do simply support we own. But we have a we have a bad and a stinking attitude. We don't like to see we neighbor house get extended. We don't see we don't like to see we neighbor yard fix. We don't like to see we brother having a better shoes than us. We don't like to see the next man shop more stuck than yours. Let the next man shop motivate you. So you start so to tomorrow you could go out there and work harder to stock your shop. And say, hey boy, watch me my stock my, my shop stuck up to you know. But instead of that, you rather bond down the neighbor shop. Remember that there is a greater energy over everything that is looking at you, you know. And they say what goes around comes around. And man feel because they're thinking certain things that the father don't know. Mm -hmm. But he say, You shall sin by thought, words, and deeds. So even your thoughts that is devilish will come back to meet you. We have to learn to think pure. That's why I give to anybody. I remember the nights of Soka Monarch when I'm in competition. You could ask Terra Kid that. You could ask Boise that. You could ask my cousins and different artists. I will even help them even if I did in the same competition on the same competition night. That is how dread it is with me. That I am not afraid of no man or no nothing. Mm -hmm. If I really believe in myself, then fear. Remember, fear is our, mm -hmm. is our downfall, you know. We're scared. Mm -hmm. That means you're weak. If you're scared of another man, that means you're weak. You don't believe in yourself yet. You can be afraid that the next man flourish more than you. You have to know that this man supposed to motivate you. Because when you wake up and you dream about something great, when I dream about something great and I want to do something, there is a million other people have the same dream like I have. Only what will make me great and make me win is for when they giving is when they giving a hundred percent i give in a hundred and fifty you understand you have times i go in the studio i reach and lose already and do 36 hours in the studio straight mm -hmm. when a man just want to go in the studio and spend two hours and leave mm -hmm. at the end of the day if that is his application it works for him that is fine i'm just saying that i always want to work hard i work hard i build in my studio i am the one with my own two hands building my whole interior I build everything from this. I'm, I'm an electrician. Mm -hmm. You understand? I run wires. I do this. My brother is an electrician. He come. He do the majority of the work. I come and tidy up. I do everything. I work. When I work with the masons from 8 to 4 mm -hmm. in the evening. And from about 5 to about 12 in the night. Mm -hmm. I work in again. When everybody go home. Right. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm just saying that apply yourself. Don't watch somebody else think. Jealousy is a weak state of mind. Anger is a weak state of mind. Being afraid is to be weak. You understand? Know saying be confident in yourself. Believe yourself. That's why I say believe in us. Believe in our own thing. Believe in what we have. Mm -hmm. Don't feel nobody think better than ours. You understand? Know saying we are the best. We are the greatest. You understand? Know saying forward ever, backward, backward never. never. Yeah, <laughs> big up. Okay, now let's end on this one. Favorite tune, last tune we wrote up. But before you go there, uh -huh. remember I had to tell you about my new tune. The new tune. And I have to, I have to sing just a piece, you know, piece because, because we're in the right zone yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I wanted to give you a story. As you was talking about the mother and 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 foreseeing things, you understand? Know I'm saying. Mm -hmm. This tune is not no regular song. That is why I didn't release no songs for Karaoke Carnival and stuff. I, I held it back. Why? I dreamt about a song two years ago. I was in New York. Mm -hmm. I, I was. I came from a party. I went to sleep. Surprisingly, I dreamt because mm -hmm. normally when you're tired, you go from you don't dream. Yeah. But I dreamt that night. I went to a, a club and there was this song banging. And a man came to me and said, "Kill yo, that is your song, you know? You don't realize." Mm -hmm. So I said, "What? That my song?" But it was a positive tune. I was surprised people dancing to it. Right. 
I wake up and I wanted to record the song, my phone was dead. Mm -hmm. So I say, you know what? I will record it when I get up later. Mm -hmm. But you know, joke you're making. Yeah. Once you record you it, you know, it. Like you forget you it. it. So I forgot it and I gone. Now, two months and a half ago, I don't know if I had the timing right, it's right before Karaku Carnival. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, I had my prayer, I take my prayer, wake up this morning, take my prayer time, I'm feeling tired too, so I take a nice little prayer time, a cool out time, I went into my veranda, chilling for a while, after my prayer time, I start singing this song in my head, mm -hmm. but the song that I singing now, I don't know who the song is, so, so I say, who the song for? But I sing in a verse and a chorus, mm -hmm. my skin reads, I say, but no, but this is the tune I dream about two years ago, mm. you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like... I, I, that is my, I feel like, you know, like the ancestor just give me a tune, a, a, a higher self just give me a song. Wow. And the song so powerful, so thing, I just felt like it should be the first song that I release before I go back into my soca because this year I'm back in the music hard. Right. You know, something right. I go back to recording and putting out records and songs and going back to performance and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. And the song goes like this. Say once I was weak, but I'm not weak no more. I found the strength of my ancestors deep down in my African core. I used to be frightened. I'm not afraid no more. Mm. The Father blessed me with the heart of a lion and a warrior soul. So no weapon that farm against I shall not, shall not prevail. And no man that rise against I, that war they shall never win. Cause I will conquer, yeah, I will conquer, oh I will conquer, conquer them. Oh, I will conquer, rise up and conquer, come on, let's conquer, conquer them. Mm -hmm. Don't let your feet fall, then pick it up. And if your heart can reap, sweep it up. And if your feet have go down, then pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's something like amazing. That's, that's something like, that's like, um, yeah, something like yeah, nothing yeah, to yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like nothing to something. It's a positive Damn. tune. So every time, you know, I really want to do a positive song. And just because, you know, there is a, there is a greater part of me, you know. I'm just an artist. Yes, I'm the artist. Is Mr. Killer, the artist, but Hollis, you know, is still that person that, that is that is just connected, you know, yeah, in a way, you yeah. know. So I, I have to still make sure that I feed that part of me, you know, yeah, of course, you know. Yo, Killer, let me tell you, you you really, really, I mean, I appreciate you just pouring out to us here on the right along. Of I mean, course. there's a lot of things that you said here today that a lot of people didn't know about you. Right, they think that they put you in a box. They say, "Oh, killer, come, a killer, sing a tune, killer, sing a next tune, killer, sing a next tune." But this is a whole different side of killer, and that's what we try to bring to you on the ride along. Yeah, Something well, they know, they say, different. They say, at the end of the day, you know, he that judges the book by the cover will be surprised one day. <laughs> you know? Right, right, right. But we went deeper, 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 deeper into it. I'd like to thank you, killer, for coming to on the ride. I would like to thank you guys as well yeah, for watching yeah. and sharing. Bless the love, you know. Every man never wake up and my mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a good life. I know if my heart wasn't pure in this life. Yeah. I won't strive. Sometimes my days was cloudy. But I put my feet in the most high. So much pain and struggle and frustration. I've seen me in his eyes. So how could you tell me? Celebration boat ride on sell off. Big up to um, who we have, who we have, who we have. Small face, your, your, your father's your thing, sell off. Little Miss Grenada, don't forget, look out for that coming up on the 26th.
Well, La Vida, you have to buy your tickets. Buy your tickets to La Vida now. The villa's already sold out. Uh -huh. The early birds already sold out. Yes. So get your VIP. Wide. Big up to all the people that supported my music. Big up to all the people that believed in me and still believing in me. You know what I'm saying? Big up to the whole of Grenada. That's my home. That's my house. That's my family. Grenada, I love you. And I always and I also want to say, you see, Trinidad, remember Trinidad did a big and play a major part in my career. Every Trinidad, uh, every Trinidad carnival, I wish Trinidad blessings and every single day i wish all my fans out so much people you understand and the people i just love you you understand i, say, I love they, you they want this one before I you go before you go, you. before you go before you go this one big up girl abby girl abby touch me squeeze me hold me and why not go down touch me woman squeeze me woman hold me and why not go down touch me squeeze me hold me and why not go down touch me woman squeeze me woman hold me and why not go down touch me touch me and me touch your back girl hold me tight and put my back in the wall right along you make me blood them run and on my skin them cry Feeling so romantic, so sexual. In the party, no time for long talk. I squid me tight like master padlock. Tiki 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 Yo, Leo, big up yourself. Big up to all my brother, my sisters, my father. No matter where you're there, whether heaven, earth, space, it don't matter. Big up yourself. Mommy, to the world, love my mother. You see it? And big up every person out there that believe in me. Thank you. Love, blessings. Junior John, big up yourself. Big up. You don't know. One love, one right? Love. One love. Love. All right, cool. Yeah, man. Guys, this is a, this has been another edition of Ride Along. Don't forget, check us tomorrow for more programming and for the entire week. We're going to be right here with, with you, all right? Back to the producers and everyone here. I'm going to ride along. Catch me tomorrow. Kill bye bye. Later. In my direction, go hold it on you. This my intention. This my intention. Oh, no, no. Touch me. Squeeze me. Hold me and when I go down Touch me, woman squeeze me Woman hold me and when I go down Touch me, squeeze me And hold me and when I go down Touch me, woman squeeze me Woman hold me and when I go down Look at her right now, say we are on a mission But me feel the freaky action Say she want the man to work out in slow motion Mmm, I can feel the tension Say she want the straight in the middle section Baby, let's create a little friction Right now, we are on a mission
Also, I gotta pick up Kennedy Tweet Philip. Your boat ride. <coughs> I gotta be sell off. Big, big, big things happening. Big up yourself, Kennedy. And also, small face. Uh, King's Fire Construction. Big up yourself. Everybody who made it possible to make sure that we're here and ride along. Thank you so much. Peace out, everybody. Catch me again tomorrow. Bye bye. Peace out. Bye-bye.